first quarter action was literally a tit-for-tat battle as both teams were banking the points as they came. This is Pinus on the break. Actually, Rashid Maynard who takes it all the way. Trainers will surely respond. Naya Brown steals, bobs and weaves back down court and passes off to Aaron Weatherhead, who posts up just inside the arc that was smoothly executed. Back in Pinus' possession and Doroni Hurley goes for a big one and sinks it. The schoolboys show they had the goods too. Khalil Austin, another nicely executed too. But the Pinus unit also had a rock solid defense. Maynard again steals and sends a cross court pass. Almost out of court, but when all hands are on deck, the muffled job is easy. Hurley finds Devron Knight deep in the D and he puts on the finishing touch. Triders try to keep it as close as possible. All kudos to Austin on display. Pinus, however, had control of the game and for coast to coast plays like this from Maynard, secured that early lead. And let's cap off with some showmanship. Maynard again with the quarter's last basket in Duncan style. Pinelands end the first quarter of the eight-point lead, 28 to 20. On the back foot, the schoolboys came into the second looking to cut the deficit and set the task. Gifted the ball and claiming two off the board is Scott Wharton. But you know Pinelands will not sit by and give up that lead. And Darion Hurley ensured not only his little brother was on the scorecard, but that he will register some points too. Traders try their best to keep up. Austin pulling the trigger at the arc for three. But Pinus had things under control. More off the board. Two more. As they will go into the half with the 50 to 36 lead before taking the overall win at 111 to 50.